There's nothing you can do. Hi everyone, Henry Yellow here. Welcome back. Right now, I'm getting ready to watch All Quiet on the Western Front. Now, this movie is based on a novel of the same name from 1929. Uh, I've never read the novel before. And the movie is set during World War I and it shows the German side or more specifically, a young German soldier. I can't remember the last time I watched a war movie. Would you consider Jojo Rabbit a war movie? Kind of, but at the same time, not really. So if I don't count Jojo Rabbit, I guess the last war movie I've watched would be probably Saving Private Ryan. Now that was an emotional movie. I should probably expect the same from this and that's why I've prepared some tissues just in case. And this movie also won a lot of awards and it was nominated for a lot of awards and they won the best international film, the best uh, visual effects, the best original score, best sound, best director, best film. So there's a lot of things that I can look forward to in this movie. Hopefully I won't need the tissues but I feel like I probably do. So let's watch this All Quiet on the Western Front. Huh, is the language going to be in German? Most likely so, right? Well, I mean, they, they won the best foreign language film, so yes, I think they, it's in German. Don't worry, I'll read the subtitles. All Quiet on the Western Front. Oh, this is so cute. Look at it, so ravenous. Oh, such beautiful eyes. I don't get what this is. Oh! Oh my god! It took me a while, I thought it was like... Ice! It's actually bodies on a snow-covered ground, oh my god. I totally did not notice that. Until the camera went down. Death zone. So we're just speaking English. Oh man, sending them to their deaths. And God, if you're there, you're just getting shot. Oh, 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 oh. Man, it's all. It all depends on luck. Oh shit, I saw that hit shot. Oh my god, death all around, man. Whoa, that was so sudden. That's a sudden contrast between a loud screaming and silence. Getting ready to burn the bodies. Man, imagine the smell. And they reuse all that. All the jackets and the boots, they reuse everything. It's just like another day to them. Oh man. Oh, that's Heinrichs. Northern Germany, spring 1917. The third year of the war. You mustn't. Your father will hit you. Have you got a better idea? Not being left behind here. Wait a minute. German is the original audio. I guess they dubbed it in English. Sorry about that. I'm gonna change it to German. Oh, there we go. Now it's better in German. That's why their mouth wasn't moving correctly when I was listening. So his parents don't allow him to go, but he wants to go. Yeah, that's how they pump you up, huh? Sie werden sich als würdige Träger dieser Uniform erweisen. Liegt in den Händen seiner größten Generation. Das sind sie! Man, wait till you're at the front lines. It's a bloody sight to behold. 99, correct? Jawohl, Offizier. What's your wall? Yes? You gehört schon wem? Oh, you're too klein for the car, no? Da kommt immer wieder vor. I'm guessing he must be Heinrichs. Yeah, they forgot to remove the tag. <laughs> Na Ludwig, stopp die 40 Minuten weg. Ja. Ja, makes sense, I gotta put on more uh, flexible glasses. They have no idea what they're heading towards. 
northern France, 25 kilometers to the western front. Ob Sie gerne schmutzige Mädchen mögen? Nein. Warum schlafen Sie dann mit einer? Oh, he's talking about the gun. Wir sind jetzt an der Westfront. They look excited. They need the trucks. Yeah, yeah, they need to get the injured back to get treatment, huh? Six weeks. I already forget most of the names. So there's France. Paul. Oh, put on the guest mask? So no gas then? He just said he don't carry gas. <laughs> you can see the mask just moving. Oh, they've already reached the trenches. It must be hot in that mask. Kaczynski, come, Kaczynski. Oh, it's flooding in there. And they're using the helmets for it. <laughs> oh, as in his hands are very, very cold. Yeah, it isn't how you imagined it to be, huh? Oh my god, they're gonna drown by the night. Oh, he actually spoke French. <coughs> you almost died. Well, you're lucky to be alive. Right. He really was nearly dead by dawn. If he had gotten shot, yeah, he would have died that night. They have to keep shooting the flares to prevent anyone from sneaking over the other side, I guess. Oh. So what's that considered mortar fire? There's no way back now. So they're moving forward. Right, providing cover for the infantry to move forward. Oh, they've arrived. The bunker can't hold. Oh. He was trapped in the bunker. Oh, I guess he's lucky. So many lives lost in one night. And to think just a day ago, they were all pumped up and really happy to be able to come here. He's eating something from the mud. Sind Sie verletzt? Dann einsammeln. Sicherlich bringen Sie ihn. This just a nightmare repeating every day. If you're not dead, get to work. Oh, that's different from a tag. They break it in half. Oh, this is the first time I've seen something like that. No, it's his friend's glasses. Oh. Can't even tell with all the mud and blood. <laughs> and just like that, one day, he's lost a friend. And there'll be more to come. <laughs> Eventually, though, that coat will be worn by someone else. Look at that, bodies everywhere. Deep Holz, 14th of September. 18 months later? How did they skip so far? 1918. They skipped so far ahead, 18 months. 
It's a year and a half. How many people have died in that time? 40,000 Tote allein in den letzten Wochen. 40,000. Ich denke, die Herren wissen, dass es vorbei ist. Paul made it. For 18 months. Ach, mein Super, Paul, und bitte dafür zu sterben. Für Hunger lohnt sich alles. We're gonna steal livestock for food. Wait, when they say this place is occupied territory, who's occupying it? You know, 40,000 assuming in three weeks. That means 2,000 die per day. Cut! No! Whoa. Oh, his other friends made it. I guess it's good, even if it's just boiled in plain water. Oh, he's there. He's trying to escape. That can actually happen. Stellt euch vor, ich werd Landjäger. Da, mit dem Landjäger will jeder gut stehen. Jeder. It looks like he's got some damage in one eye. So what, the other guy, friends, just just left with the 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 farmers. Oh, it's Kat Kat Kaczynski. I'm terrible with faces, so I couldn't really tell. Wait, is that a toilet? I was wondering why he took off his pants. Like that's a toilet in the middle of the woods. Wie viel Geld hast du denn schon gespart? Schickst du denn nicht auch mal was nach Hause? Do they even get paid? Am Sonntag gehe ich zum Grab von unserem Kleinen. Im nächsten Jahr gehen wir hin und feiern zusammen seinen Zehnten. Okay, so only Paul knows how to read. Und wir spazieren darum wie Reisende in der Landschaft von früher. Ja, ich frage mich halt, ob ich denn nicht nur mit dir und dem... I mean, yeah, when you're used to the military life, it's hard to go back to normal. Especially if all that you've seen and experienced. Franz. Yeah. Oh, he came back. He could actually sneak away and come back like no one's watching them. Oh, you can really see how bumpy the road is. Guck mal, Nina ist aus dem Anzug gestoßen. That's a person? Spaß. How did he get all the way up there? Oh my goodness. Gas, yeah, so they should put on masks. How can you tell there was gas here? The... The gas? Grenade shells? Hmm. Hard to find clean water around. Why does it look like it's the place where they dry their clothes? Oh my god, are they all dead bodies? But they got gassed to death. Oh. So the place was gassed and then... All of them just took their mask off. I mean, I assume the gas is odorless. That's why they couldn't tell. The Panzerflotte hängt angeblich noch bei Fernand Kurfest wieder. Wir müssen mit einem Angriff rechnen. Diese Menschen bringst du auf. Verkaufen unser Vaterland. Ändert kämpfe ich hier um jeden Meter. Wir müssen jetzt zuschlagen mit all unserer Macht. Das ganze Regiment rückt in die erste Feuerstellung vor. They're sending them to the front lines. So the general orders all of his men to lay their lives on the line. If friends had run away and never come back, would they have been able to track him down? Maybe they'd be able to find his records and brand him as a deserter. Oh, to the trenches again. Having that, having feeling nauseous, I guess. I come back to you. Oh, it's the poster. I thought it was a letter or something. Bitte, ich sehe für die Dauer der Verhandlungen. 
einer sofortigen Waffenruhe zuzustimmen. So they're negotiating. Ich habe ihnen keine Vorschläge zu machen. So he doesn't want a ceasefire? Ich bitte Sie um den Waffenstillstand. Wir stimmen unsere Bedingung zu akzeptieren, Sie sind nicht zu verhandeln. Lassen Sie nicht 72 Stunden vergehen. Da draußen sterben Menschen. Okay, so he accepts the condition. Oh, look at that. Bodies left to rot. Verstanden. So did they agree to the ceasefire? So let march. Will march? Are you sure? Master. A lot more men are gonna die today. Is that a cat? My goodness, look at that. They're just being mowed down by the machine guns. All of them. It's either you die or I die. I thought they have to reload after each shot. They take no prisoners. That's a lot of food. An earthquake or a huge explosion coming? Tanks? Do they have tanks yet at this time? I think yes. They still look like a tank. Yes, yeah, tank. They don't stand a chance. Oh, there's more than one. No, they don't stand a chance against that. Is this the first time tanks were introduced in a war? It's gonna fire. What happened to the ceasefire? So he gave the order. Oh, that's a terrible way to go. So while they're there trying to sign the peace agreement, the general decides to just send them all to attack. But they didn't actually need to be there. Flamethrowers! Oh man, getting burned to death is also a terrible way to go. Dude, they've got tanks and flamethrowers. You guys only have guns. I'm not sure you stand a chance. Oh! But he lose his hearing. They take no prisoners. Who is that? Is that Crop? Albert? Oh, look at that. Destruction everywhere. Selbst wenn wir doch noch endgültig verlieren, stehen wir auch nicht schlechter da als bei dieser Unterwerfung. Bis auf ein paar hunderttausend Tote mehr. Die Männer werden auf dem Heimweg verhungern, anstatt in aller Ehre auf dem Schlachtfeld zu sterben. Mein Sohn ist im Krieg gefallen, empfindet keine Ehre. Und jede Minute, die wir hier mit Reden vergeuden, stirbt ein weiterer Soldat. Ja, yeah, each second, each second, hundreds die. Wow, this is a really one-sided massacre. They've got tanks, flamethrowers, planes. Oh my god, stabbed through the heart multiple times. I guess a quick death is... is a privilege on the battlefield. The house is still not dead. He got stabbed through the heart multiple times.
Man, put him out of his misery, like, to his throat or something, man. What are you doing? He's not gonna survive. He will bleed out. Nothing you do will save him. He's beyond saving. Just end it. He's no longer suffering now. Yeah, that's what happens. Hypographer. Nothing you can do. He's just one death among hundreds of thousands. And so we water the soil with our blood while they sit and enjoy a meal. Was ist ein Soldat ohne Krieg? As kind vielleicht. It's such a stark contrast, isn't it? Those who are on the battlefield, they drink dirty water, they get whatever food they can. Fighting for their lives, uniforms dirty, stepping on blood. And then there are people who are just sitting, showing their food to the dogs, drinking wine, complaining about a drop of water on their trousers. Er drängt zur Unterschrift. So they finally ended the war. Dang. The only anesthetic he gets is a chloroform. Looks worse than a shot. Is gangrene setting in? Ich lasse mir den Knochen nicht abnehmen. Ich laufe nicht als Krüppel durch die Welt. I'm not sure you have a choice. Wait. Isn't that from France? France is dead. Du lebst. Die, die es nicht geschafft haben. Sei still. Hörst du? So, das darfst du nicht sagen. Nicht so! So everyone he knows is dead. What about Cat? Jaden hopefully survives. But he hasn't seen Cat yet. Cat made it. In the form of Stirs bring you this one. Oh my god, he looks so much worse than just now. Did he just stab himself? What the frick? No, he already hit his jugular. It's too late. He knew he wasn't gonna make it. He just wants to go out quickly. The freak, the, the other soldier just came and took his bowl. Every man for himself. Well, he made his choice. Takes a lot of courage to do that. Oh, the buck survived. The one he saved. I mean, he didn't exactly save, he captured. I was alone. Oh. The French guy's book. Mm. And most of them, even if they survive, they go home with PTSD. And they'll never be able to live normal lives again. Soldiers would have wolfed it down without hesitation. In Hungersnot und Anarchie zu stürzen. Das einzige Recht zu ihrem Gegner, sonst wird er diesen Frieden hassen. Vous, vous parlez d'être juste. I'm not familiar with World War I, so I don't know who started the war. But from the looks of it, it seems Germany started it. So now the common people will still suffer, the soldiers will still suffer, because 
There is no food. It's the famine after the war. In six stunden in Kraft. In the elften Stunde, am elften Tag des elften Monats. Okay, I finish. Und deutsche Soldaten, die weglaufen wie die Hasen. Lassen Sie im Hof antreten. Wir ziehen den Karn jetzt aus der Scheiße. What is he planning to do? So still. Ich bin taub geworden. Yeah, they're not used to silence, constant explosions, gunfire, screams. They're going back to the same farm to steal the goose. Yeah, it is the same farm. But it's so risky though, he nearly got shot the last time. What? There was a woman there? Oh no, there's someone there. The farmer with a gun. Oh no. Well, yeah, they are stealing. So, so let's go now. It's going to go Raw eggs. It's not going to go. Dang, I thought he got shot and he was just trying to hide. Farmer's kid. Oh crap, he has a gun, doesn't he? And he chased him all the way there. Now Paul's gonna get shot too. What's passiert? That's green. Right. In the stomach. This is in you can't pull, yeah, you can't pull the bullet out. What about the kid though? The kid just ran away after he fired the shot. He has to at least stop the blood flow, put pressure on it. Rifle rhymes with rifle. Probably sounds different in German, so. Just keep putting pressure on it. Oh, rifle does work. Ask him for a ride! Dude, he's bleeding out. Oh no. Man, how far did they walk? No, he already bled out. To die from something like that. Black blood. Shouldn't have gone to the farm. So Paul's the only one left. All that, all who he knows are dead. <sighs> right at the end of the war, he should go and try and find his wife and tell her the news. New recruits are still coming? Many guys a scar across his face. Wir werden jetzt zuschlagen mit all unserer Härte und Gewalt. He still wants to push forward with the attack. Ebene noch vor 11 Uhr und beenden diesen Krieg. And they killed him on the spot. Now he's all alone. Wait, what, what was that? Was that someone hanging upside down? Or did I see wrongly? Ich will. No, 15 minutes. He's just tired of it all. You can see it in his eyes. He's just... He doesn't care even if he dies. Oh no, they won't know what hit them. A bit too soon to say that. But in doing this, won't they reignite the war? I mean, the soldiers want to go home too, but they don't have a choice. And more people have to die. And the general himself just sits in his mansion. He's gonna hit him till he's dead, huh? He's 
Straight to the heart. Thirty seconds too late. War and death is unbiased. Oh, this is that same trench. Even until the final moments, people still had to die. The general still wanted to send his soldiers to the death. Sind sie in Ordnung, Soldat? Oh. Einsammeln, bitte. Start gathering. He remembers Paul as the one who saved him. And so all the people we know are all gone. Paul, Cat, Jaden, Albert, Franz. Oh, this is the same scene as the intro. It looks exactly the same as two years ago. The only difference is hundreds of thousands of lives or more were lost. By the end of the war, the front line barely moved. Three million! Three million soldiers died. Seventeen million lives lost. Give me a minute, guys. Just there was no honor in their deaths. Three million people died, and most of the time, just to gain a few hundred meters of ground. Like, what's the point? This movie she really shows the futility of war. All they were talking about at the beginning, all that what? Honor? Coming back as heroes? Having your oh, what, parents be proud of you? It's all just bullshit. The glory of war, there was no glory. There was no glory in their death, there was no honor. And the reason the general sent more soldiers to die was because of his freaking pride. If he wanted to take control of Latier back so much, why not just go on the front lines himself, see what he can do. So yeah, I guess the main theme of the movie is uh, just how futile it all is. The common people, the soldiers are the ones who suffer. As you can see throughout the whole movie, the, the soldiers who drink the rainwater or the dirty water would eat months, months old bread, moldy bread or whatever, struggling for food and rest. And, and the people, the general in the mansion is just enjoying his food, drinking champagne and wine. All he cares about is his battle record, his battle merit, and not the lives of the soldiers who spill blood on the front lines. And in the movie, everyone there is either someone's son, someone's father, someone's brother. And millions of them died. See, this is why I don't watch war movies, because it's just so... the futility of it all. It's like, what's the point? And in the beginning, Paul was so... Sorry, my nose is just blocked now. So, in the, be and in the beginning, Paul was so excited. He wasn't even supposed to go. His parents didn't allow him to go, but he changed the signature or forged the signature. And in the end, he went and experienced all this, saw all his friends die and sacrificed his own life right 
in the final 30 seconds. And now I'm looking at this summary, it says Paul was only 17 years old when he joined. So he died at 18 years old. Man, my nose is so blocked right now. Yeah, when you watch all those like action movies where they show uh, like scenes of war and all of that, they don't really show you the real war. This movie is the definition of war. It's just death. There's no cool and wow, killing the enemy is so fun and all that crap. No, even the enemy you kill has a family and it's kill or be killed out there. It truly sends a powerful message. War is just suffering and loss on both sides. I feel that nowadays a lot of people don't understand this because they're so separated from the war that's actually happening in the front lines because we are sitting in our homes and we have a shelter, we have our food, we have our family and we just feel so disconnected from things that are happening that are actually there are actually battles ongoing that we just don't know and we see it on the screen and we thought you know oh yeah well it's not so bad it doesn't look so you know crazy because we are not actually there but when you're there at the front lines holding the rifle and you could die at any time it's it hits differently so i think we need to be aware just because we're not there doesn't mean people aren't experiencing what uh, they have experienced as in this movie what i'm trying to say is just let's prevent war if at all possible i don't watch war movies very often but i i'm glad i watched this one i think this is the only movie which i've watched so far uh, other than saving private ryan which really shows the truth of war i'll see you guys in the next video peace